we, we have we farm and our farm is four and a half miles away and I come out here every third day and set out hay to the cows out here. Uh, I haul a load of hay home normally because we're trying to get the hay that's out And then we go to the hay that we put in the barn. And this old barn, we, this is the first year we put hay in it. And I believe there's 101 rows in that in the center of that old barn. Bye, Parker. <clears throat> so learn, these learn guys are home. from Sawbriar. That's Bob, that's Charlie, and that's Jim. Jim. And I'm, I'm Jim of course Thompson. you've already met these two. But anyway, just ask them whatever you want to. But they come over here hunting. All of y'all are from Knoxville, right? Right. Knoxville, Tennessee. That's and right. I've been blessed to have them. They come in my store almost every time you're here. And some of them have special privileges like Charlie and Bob because I came in here yesterday in the freezing cold. Opened up for them. But it was good. I ended up being here all day. So anyway. <laughs> but I kind of ha have a partiality to them. So anyway, it, talk to them. Well, the great thing about Sawbriar, I mean, there's a lot of hunting preserves around the, the country, but some of them are only... 40 acres or 80 acres, and the, the, the dogs don't really have room to run. Tallbriar's got 600 acres all planted in warm season grass. It's wide open. The dogs can run like bird dogs are supposed to run, and uh, it's just sort of like hunting in the old days. It's more like the way hunting used to be when you go to Tallbriar. So I, 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 I you know, of all the hunting preserves that are close to Knoxville, it's the, it seems to be the one that's got the most acreage, the most property, the most fields, and uh, so that's the one that everybody goes to. <coughs> well, I wish you'd have been out there this morning. We were hunting in the snow. It was beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> it really it was, was uh, uh, something I'll, I'll dream about. It was that good. Neat, a neat area with a lot of friendly people. And remind you the way things were when we were younger. Tell us about what the store was like back in the, how long have you been coming? What year can you remember coming back to? The here? 50s. I guess my man Bob had a store. We sold feed hay, furniture, had Bob's furniture. He's like a, like a little Walmart back in these days. He had about anything you wanted, he got, he, he had it or he could get it. You know? But he run the store here too. Had to had a store. And he had a, had a barn across the road. Or had a furniture Bob furniture store. It was just little when you went there. I guess as a kid, then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I run a horse camp over at Zeno's Horse Camp. Um, I met a lot of interesting people from all over the country. You know, had some rode all over Big South Fork. You ran them out to people and... Oh, uh, yeah, I took them out, took them overnight camping. Oh, okay. Three or four or five days. Well, that's a pretty good long time to go camping. Yeah, you, yeah. You did it there in Big South Fort Park? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My farm joined the Big South Fort. Yeah? I'd ride off it back in the... Had a horse camp, had about, I don't know, 30 campsites, and I like, had 100 horses camp. Zenith horse camp. How often do you come by the store? Well, I nab about every once a day or something. Oh, you come about every day? Yeah, come and eat dinner or breakfast. Or <laughs> kind of a regular stop for you, huh? Yeah, yeah. Get all the gossip over here. <laughs> <laughs> Not many places around still with that pot belly no, stove, are no, they? No, no, everybody's gone. Everybody likes sitting around the stove, don't they? It's getting warm. Mm -hmm. You reckon they tell a bunch get of lies? Get out and feed them <laughs> in the morning, then come in and get the gossip. <laughs> Good food. Right. See what I'm saying? Look there. Look at all that biscuit all over you. All it's right. all good. <laughs> this is Drew Staller. Drew is Andrew's son. So that makes three generations of the Stardust Farm uh, come, that come in here. And this is Noah. That's Drew's little girl, Noah. So there's four generations right there. Um, I'm Drew Starr. I'm 28 years old. Um, I farm and I love it. That's all I've ever done, basically. Uh, I do appraisals on the side now, but uh, I farm with my dad here in rugby, and uh, we've done it basically my whole life. And that's just what I've, I've grown up and loved. And you know, people tell you don't do it. There ain't no money in it, and you know there really ain't at times. But it, it's in my blood, I guess you can say. <laughs> when I started coming up here about 
the same time you did, uh, probably about 12 or 13 years ago. I used to drive by the store and it was boarded up and closed and I had no idea of what the history was in this place. I used to pull up front there and try to peek in the window and just sort of see what was in there. And I saw that it at one time used to be a post office because the old post office stuff is still right there near the window. And I thought, boy, what a lovely place this would be that somebody ought to open this up and make a store out of it. And lo and behold, about five years later, all of a sudden I drive by one day and it's open. And uh, we're just, we're lucky that, uh, that Brooks Store is here, really. It's a gathering place. Yeah, it's a gathering place. It's a gathering place for the whole community. Yeah. A lot of people come in here. We enjoy it. My name is Adam Watson. I'm from Clinton, Tennessee. Tiffany Bird, I live in Powell. We come across this page on TikTok and it showed us so much about the store and I just love old country stores and thought that this would make a good Saturday trip to come down and check out. Yeah, we love old country stores. We like taking long drives in the country and discovering old places like this that have been around for generations as I believe this place since 1917, yeah. not quite sure. But um, having family in the area and um, just taking an old long back road to a cute little place like this where time has never changed it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is a good page to check out for stuff like this. It, Absolutely. it led us here. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah, we've been here about a year. It'll be a year on Wednesday. Oh yeah, where'd y'all move from? Chattanooga. Oh, okay. I think you said that earlier. Yeah. I talked to a lot of people today. I can't remember much. <laughs> Boy, well, we're glad to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, like it up here in the country a little bit better. Oh, yeah. We've always loved, loved it up here. We've been coming up here for about 15, 20 years. About well, 30. We spent our honeymoon. That's true. We did. At the Jordan Motel. What do you think about the little store here, right? Uh, Brooks' store? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> that was one thing we always did. No matter where we were, we would gravitate to the local general stores. And uh, we made a lot of friends just running the back roads and meeting people at the stores. Uh, so we, we love here. I come here every Saturday for breakfast. I've just brought her over today for this some lunch. This is my second time here. Second time she's mm -hmm. been. And I like it real well too. We're good. So tell me the name of your business again. Uh, Heaven Healing Hand Spa. And, and then you said something about... Uh, and the Smoothie Bar Bistro. Bistro. So you yeah. do some food? We do food, yes. And they're the ones that do all the food. Yes, we do. They so closed on Saturday? We do. We're yeah. closed Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays we're open and Sundays. Monday through Friday, 10 to 4. Tell us a little bit about the difference between, let's get, uh, let's get a little bit of difference between California life and Tennessee life. It's very different. Um, very fast paced. Over in California, it's, you don't really socialize a lot with, with people around you, other than unless you're family or mm -hmm. friends. Um, I like the fact that in Tennessee, you could just talk to people and they don't look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> um, they're very easy going, um, slower pace. It's not very, it's about a relationship. It's not so much about material things mm -hmm. or what you're gonna, what you're wearing, where you're doing, what you own. Here, it's just about creating friends and family. You know, they invite you in as a family. And that's what I loved about Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the Brooks store here? I love the Brooks store. Um, I remember when Tiffany, was getting ready to open it, you know, I was excited. Um, I got the privilege of working with her for a year and a half. And <laughs> I remember- The best year of her life. No, it <laughs> was. Um, oh. It was actually really neat. It, it showed me a lot of things, you know, brought us together. Some things, you know, I'm sure that there were things that she was like, wanted to strangle me about, and there were things that I wanted to strangle her about. But, <laughs> you know, but it was actually a good experience for me. I think it taught both of them. Yeah, it taught us both on our journeys and what I wanted to be and where I wanted to be. I just tried to figure out where it was at the time. And so 
encouraging her to be what she what God had her to be and expand more because I, I know God has more for her. So, so how often do y'all come to Brooks's? Oh gosh, not often enough anymore. <laughs> yeah, we were we were here every weekend. She, I was working with Tiffany as well for a few. She would whenever she needed help, my daughter would come and help her. I would come and help her. I love it. I love it. It was it was a nice experience and. We help her here and there sometimes on the, what is it, the rugby the rumbles cruises. and the cruises and it's nice. I love it. Yeah, they were here for me, really encouraged me in a time when you do question whether you, what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing and mm -hmm. these ladies, um, and even Liliana mostly, but these ladies encouraged me um, to just keep on doing and they were in my eyes when I couldn't see myself. Um, what God had in store. So, and still, we encourage one another, you know, yeah. the things that we know that God has for us and, um, you know, in the future. Yes. And so, anyway, I'm glad you guys came back today. I'm so excited. And they didn't even know. Did they? I didn't know. We did not. <laughs> we'll definitely come back. We'll bring the kiddos. Well, we love to have you. Well, we were so glad we found it. And I love this. She so was so awesome so with us. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a Bible. Okay. But the other day, it was lucky coming. And no food for you guys? No. Long time? No. Not, not this time. So it's a long sleep, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to make your food. I'm going to call it. It'll be 49 even. Okay. 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 They pull, I literally pull that. Not. Want me to grab you a bag for that? Yeah, if you don't care. Okay. Yes, is that my crazy? Money is the root of all evil. Cleanse yourself. I'm here. He said it's free. I'm really going to take it. Yeah, we'll definitely be back for some food. Let's check out that menu. We have a paper menu if you'd like one. Yes, I would love to take one with the bag. This is Gavin's kind of place. Yeah. I'm going to too. I like it. I love it. Yeah, you can put that on there. It's time to keep it. Kind of like Yeah. I'll become a professional kiss eventually. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys so much. You guys have a good one. Thank you. See y'all next time. Bye, guys. Come out. Thank you for uh, uh, praying with us. Absolutely. We have, that was fun. That was just the best part of the visit. Awesome. Yes, yeah, have a good one. You too. 2015. 2015. Oh, yeah. It'll be seven in May. Seven years. But we've been together for 10 years. 10 years? Mm -hmm. Met in high school. 15. Home ec, home economics class. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. A lot of our daytime was helping Tiff try to open the store back up and clean stuff up, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we spent a lot of our time here when we were dating. Working. <clears throat> Working, cleaning the store up. Keeping Tiffany motivated? Yep. Just trying to get in good with the mother in law, wasn't you? Trying to. <laughs> she wasn't the mother in law at that time. She was going to be. He had, he had to prove himself a little bit, didn't he? So he's going to pitch in and be part of the family. Yeah. You did, did I did. I made it. Well, it was fun, though, getting it all back to going, wasn't it? The yeah. store. It was. It really was. I think well, she, re she reopened in 2014. So we were seniors in high school. We graduated that spring that she opened. Yeah. And um, then the following year, we got married. <clears throat> Good memories. When we first walked in the door and she decided she's gonna do it, you couldn't even walk in here. There's so, okay. stuff everywhere, it was piled up everywhere. But she had a vision. Did y'all take any pictures? She mm -hmm. she has. She yeah, has there's seven. pictures of it. Uh, the reason it was piled up is because the house that used to be connected, um, they were having to tear it down because it you couldn't save it. So we had to bring everything out of the house over here and we had to go through it, decide what we wanted to keep, what we were getting rid of, what wasn't keepable. And um, I mean, it, how long did we work on? 
I don't know. Six they, months? It was a good solid six months. We just stayed in here all the time doing stuff. I done all the heavy lifting. So you was living in Smoky Junction at the time? I was, I was driving an hour down here, an hour home to come help the MC her, but it was worth it. Well, it looks like you got you a good wife and a good mother-in-law in, in the a Good mother-in-law, can't beat her. She's not listening to me, she's talking. But it's good, good family, good community. How you like Smoky Junction? I really like it. Do you? Mm -hmm. And back when we first got engaged, we said, well, we'll never live in Smoky Junction. And uh, now we are. But now that we do live up there, I mean, I love it. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so uh, I'm, I'm not driving that road every day. So I get to stay home with the kids, and we have a farm life, and we have goats and chickens. And we raise a garden, so. Cows. Yeah. You got cows over there, too? Two cows, two old things. Wow. Well, it's good. It's real simple. We enjoy it. But we enjoy it when we get to come back here, too. Okay. Thank you. 